Hurry up! Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. <laughs> nice to see you, nice to be here again. Today is Friday, May 11th. The draw is taking place today. Da, da, da. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna have a shave. I probably won't upload this maybe to Saturday or Sunday, Monday even, because I don't want it to get in the way of the draw video, but I'm just gonna have a shave and then I will get the draw done uh, straight after that. So, what we're using today? Well, I'm going to start the shave with some of this. This is a shaving oil. This is a, I use it as a pre-shave. You can pick this up. I think it's one pound in some of the bargain stores here in the UK. Um, yeah, it's an oil. It has, it's lavender scented. It has a little bit of menthol in it. it comes in this pump. So I'm just going to apply some of that. One, two, three, four, five. Let's have six. <laughs> six pumps. Um, I don't know if you can see it, probably not, but I'm just going to warm that up in my hands. Kenny, that's way too much. That's way, way too much. No, it isn't. I can use how much as I like. That's not enough. You can never have too much um, prep in your shave. So. And if you use six pumps of that every time you shave, you'll get through it quicker and you, you'll be able to buy more. Ah, there's method in the madness. <laughs> there always is with me. Yeah, I'm in a good mood today. I'm uh, going to get the draw done. Looking forward to that. Yeah, six squirts of that pre-shave oil. I mean, look at the size of this face. It probably, I could probably use the whole thing. It's a nice lavender scent. It has a little bit of menthol in it. And it just get things started. As I say, if you're in the UK, you can pick up, I think, Home Bargains. Shop, shops like that, they have it. Uh, let me just wipe my hands from the oil. Okay, uh, someone left a comment. Someone that made me a brush. Uh, Grey Dog. Grey Dog made the brush for today's shave. Which I will show you now. Uh, this is the Grey Dog Custom. This is Coca Bolo Wood. Beautiful bore brush. Uh, yeah, you can see the detail on it there. It's stunning. Very, very talented man. He made me this brush. So it's been soaking in the Perazzo Super Soaker. So I'll just put that back in there. Um, he said in one of the comments of, I think it was the previous video or the last one before that, any chance you could have a shave with the fat boy. So here it is. This is a Gillette, vintage Gillette fat boy. This is a D, I think it's a D3. So the third quarter of 1958. So 60 years old. I don't know if that's gonna focus on that. You might be able to see that. I said twist it open, you twist the bottom and the doors open. And inside that I have a brand new Astro Blade. Now, some people might say, that doesn't look like an Astro Blade, but this is the new style of Astro Blade. Uh, I watched a video with Geo Fatboy and he was explaining everything. So, remember the old Astro, it had, all this bit was filled in, but it's, uh, it's just the outline, outline now, and it's only on one side. The other side is blank, and it has a brand new blade, so it goes in like that. You close the doors, and you get a final quarter turn that locks everything into place. Uh, and I'm going to have it, it's uh, an adjustable, it goes one to nine. I'm starting off today on setting, you can see there, five. Setting five with the Gillette Fat Boy. Very good. The soap for today, um, I've used these soaps before, but I've not used this particular one. And uh, I've seen their picture of, I think it was a beard balm or something on Instagram. Uh, so I thought, I've not used that for a while. That was a great soap, so I'm going to use this one. This is Midnight and Two Provence. This is a, a lavender scented shaving soap. Um, Midnight and Two are based in Canada. I think it's Calgary. Uh, and inside the lid, look, it gives you little shaving tips. Yeah, all the ingredients in this soap, which I will show you now. You can pause that. Are um, 
natural ingredients. Ingredients. <laughs> That's the, the plural of ingredients, is ingredients. I don't know. Yeah, everything in here is natural, sourced locally, uh, whenever they can. And here's the soap here. It's quite a soft soap, more like a crope, I would say. I've not used this one, so I uh, just wanted a nice lavender scented soap. But there's a little bit of um, tea tree in this as well. I was just looking at the website. Uh, made in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I think that's what that means. If that will focus, there we go. So that's the soap for today. Uh, yeah, this was kindly sent to me by Tim at midnight and two, quite a while back now, but um, I just wanted to use this. I love lavender scented soaps. Um, one of my favorite scents actually is lavender, so that's what I wanted to use today. Uh, brush, razor, blade, soap, pre-shave, yeah. Okay, let's uh, get lathered up. Here's the brush, squeeze, and I will just go straight to the puck. No blooming of the soap or anything today. So how are you all doing? Are you excited for the, the draw? Not as excited as I am. I can't wait. It's been a long time coming, hasn't it? Yeah, this is nice that it's lathering up easily. I'm going to load the hell out of this. With this brush. Just going to dip the brush a little bit. Some more water on the soap. Yeah, so it's Friday here. As I say, <clears throat> um, I'll upload the draw video once that's done, and I'll probably leave this one for maybe a couple of days, just so so um, so you're not getting too much Kevy shaves. You're just like, oh my god, another video. Gee whiz, this guy loves himself. Yeah, so um, thank you very much for all the emails and stuff and comments about the draw, very good. Okay, I think I've got enough on this brush now. Look how pasty that looks. You can see it's loaded with soap. Okay, let's uh, bring this to the face. Yeah, it's a nice scent, just lavender, very nice. Paint on then I will add water to the brush. Just dipping the tips of the brush. Yeah, for those of you that like um, all natural ingredients, which I know some of you do. Uh, here, no. Um, yeah, some of you care about that sort of thing, so uh, these soaps will be ideal for you. Dipping the tips again. Just working it in, working it in. This is a great brush, boar brush from Grey Dog. Another here. That's okay. Dipping the tips again. Quite a thirsty soap this. And again. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Dipping the tips again. A very thirsty soap. But you can see now, look, it's uh, starting to. <laughs> I just thought of a new word. It's starting to mayonnaise eyes. Mayonnaise eyes. That's um, similar to mayonnaise. Some people say whipped cream. 
I like whipped cream, but it's very fattening, so mayonnaise is probably better. God, what utter junk I'm speaking today. <laughs> Look at that ladder. Beautiful. Yeah, look at that brush. You can see the shine on it there. Nice. Okay, let me just uh, clean myself up. Uh, I think the shirt has as much lather on it as I do on my face. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, let's uh, put a little heat in the blade. Put the fat boy on five, shaving the fat boy, Kevy. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Nice, nice, nice and comfortable. Great slickness on this soap. Do you have a routine that you use for your face when you're shaving? I think I spoke about it once in a video about doing um, three, three or four different parts, like one, uh, one, two, three, and four. But um, recently, I just, I just go all over the place. And uh, as I'm sure you know, in the, these old vintage Gillettes, there's quite a bit of the, the blade sticking out of the sides, as you can see there. So just be careful of that around your nose and ears. Something to be aware of. Yeah, thank you again for all the, the comments and the videos. Um, I think I'm pretty much up to date with answering them all. I do uh, set aside some time just to do that. Um, usually about an hour. It usually takes about an hour. Yeah, I'm kind of just going different ways at this little trouble spot because uh, I had a few weepers there in the last shave. So, just kind of try and uh, hit it in all directions. Be very gentle on it. Okay. Pass number one, done. Oof, residual slickness. That's incredible. Really nice, let me rinse it, I'll come back for pass number dos. Rinsed off again with cold water. Um, some people have been saying about cold water shaves, so I'm gonna try a cold water shave soon. Um, but let's get lathered up for this second pass. Look at this lather.
Oh, it's just gorgeous. And it's a nice lavender scent. Probably about, um, out the tub it's maybe about a three or four. But once lathered up it's maybe about a, most of a five or six. Yeah, you can feel the, uh, that it's all natural ingredients. It's, uh, it feels really nice. Luxurious. Nice job, Tim, over at uh, <clears throat> Midnight and Two. And the story behind Midnight and Two, the name, is uh, it's it's on the website if you want to look at it. But I'll tell you anyway. Uh, when Tim was developing the soap, he used to work. <clears throat> he would he would work long hours, uh, and he would come home and practice making the soap um, between the hours of midnight and two in the morning. That's uh, how he came up with the name. So very good. There you go. Uh, another piece of information from Kevy Shapes. <laughs> I've uh, left the fat boy on five for this uh, second pass. Just to see how it goes. Across the growth. And it's uh, good to see that there's still lots of new YouTube channels coming out with uh, shaving, shaving channels. Um, yeah, every time I go on YouTube, there's a, a new name pops up. Always good to watch them. Yeah, I just don't want to go too close this way under my nose because of the, the little overhang. If I catch my nose with that, it will cut. But very gently. Feels nice. So, um... I'm going to ask a question. What is your favourite vintage Gillette, if you have one? Or do you want to get one? What one is on your shopping list? I was, um, <clears throat> I was very lucky actually. I bought um, this and my Gillette Slim Adjustable from the same, same guy. Um, and he gave me a great deal on both of them. Yeah, very good, so I was lucky, but uh, the ones in this condition are coming harder to find, so... But they are out there, just need to search for them and wait, be patient. Okay, let me rinse this off, I will come back for pass number three. Okay, nicely rinsed off. Yeah, the slickness on this is superb. One of the best I've felt, honestly, it's um, really nice. Really, really good. Okay, I'm going to turn the fat boy down to number uh, four for this pass. So these old vintage Gillettes, make sure you open the doors before you adjust them. Uh, five down to four. Because it can, uh, if you do it when the doors are closed and change this, it can muck up the mechanism. So, um, and you don't want that to happen. So it's down to number four. Let's get lathered up again. This is a great brush too. Sometimes you get a bore brush and uh, it doesn't release the lather very well. But this one is just superb. And a very nice handle to hold. Lovely um, 
keyhole shape. Looks good. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to start at this side against the growth. Did I mention that the blade was an Astra Green? I don't know if I did. I think I might have just said Astra, but it's an Astra Green, which is a SP, a Superior Platinum. It's very gently. Yeah, Astra's a uh, Astra blades seem to be the favourite of many a shaver. They're not too uh, harsh feeling, and they're they're not the sharpest blade, but. Um, sharp enough to do the job. So uh, like I say, I don't know when I'll get this uh, this shave uploaded to YouTube. It might be a uh, Sunday, but if it is, it might even be Saturday. Uh, if it is, I hope you're having a nice weekend, or I hope you've had a nice weekend. <laughs> that sounds weird. That sounds weird, uh, me saying that to you on Friday. I hope you've had a nice weekend. What are you talking about, Kevin? It's not even been the weekend yet. Has it not? <laughs> okay. Three passes done. <laughs> uh, I'm not kidding. That, that soap feels fantastic. It feels like I've got a balm on already. Really nice. Let me just have a little quick feel of that. Hardly anything to pick up a little bit down here. If you're trying like that's okay. Just leaving this on number four. Just do a little bit of all aboard for the, the Buffington Express. God, you're coming up with some crazy words today, Kevy. Yeah, I know. Who are you talking to? Um, the people in here. <laughs> oh, little wee for there. So, uh, yeah, I hope you're having some great shaves yourself. And treating, treating yourself. That's the way to do it. That's the way to to um, buy new shave gear. You're treating yourself. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a final, final little feel about. Yeah, one little bit there.
Got it. Okay, let's see how much is left in this brush. Look at that. That's awesome lather. Yeah, that is excellent. Look at that. Look at the peaks on that. And um, I don't know whether you can see, but can you see the can you see the shine on it? Very good. Okay, let's uh, let's not waste the properties that's in this soap. Let's uh, apply this to the face. Leave it on. Rinse it off with hot water. Then I see I see cold. Well, uh, I almost said Welsh water there. That was for you. Uh. <laughs> Welsh water. Who's it says Welsh water again? It's a flash boredom, isn't it? Yeah. Scottish water is much better than Welsh water. I should know. I, I use it every day. <laughs> right. Enough waffling. I'll uh, I'll see you for the post shave in a couple of minutes or two. See you soon. Beautiful. Okay, post shave. Starting it with Mersol plastic aftershave, just to give it a little like, cleanse, a little my like, cleanse a little skin. Yeah, skin a little cleanse. Even this is a uh, good for your skin. A little bit of methyl in it. It has a kind of rose scent to go with the lavender. burn at all actually. Yeah I think this uh, it replaces the epidermis so that little layer of skin you take off when you shave uh, this is good for it. Yeah I can feel the menthol in there now. Nice. Um, okay let's move on to the, the balm. I'm just giving it a shake. This is a midnight and two Provence to go with the soap. Uh, again, this is all natural ingredients. And if I remember right, I've got another one of these balms, and it was one of the best balms I think I ever used. Uh, my face felt amazing after it. Let me just uh, let you guys have a look at the ingredients. It has witch hazel in it too, so no need for witch hazel. Okay, let's uh, see how this goes. Quite a big opening there, so. And it's uh, really liquidy. Wow, well, I can feel the slickness of my hands here when I rub it in. Nice scent. Lavender. Wow. You can, uh, again, like the soap, you can feel the quality of the ingredients. That's really slick on my hands. That feels very nice. I think I probably put on too much, but I'm a wet shaving products whore. You guys know that. Wow, that does feel nice. That feels really nice. Mmm. Excellent. I'm going to have to wipe my hands because it's so slick. I'll just wipe the, the top there. I love these little bottles, like little medicine bottles, aren't they? Like um, old school stuff. Okay, there we have the shave. Beautiful. Looking good? Yep. Okay, let's go over what we've used again for today's. <coughs> The draw shave, let's call this the draw shave. Uh, we started the draw shave with this uh, Nuage Men. Nuage? Would you say that's how you pronounce that? Nuage Men shaving oil. A, a pre shave, a little lavender menthol blast. Very nice. Six squirts of this into the hand and applied it to the beard. Let it sit on, just work in. Very good. Uh, the razor for today. Gillette Fat Boy, uh, 1958, third quarter of 1958. 
Wonderful, wonderful razor. Very good, I love it. Uh, and inside that was a brand new, if you can see it, Astra SP Superior Platinum Astra Green blade. Yeah, started the first and second pass on setting five, uh, then against the green in the pickups, down to setting four. Wonderful razor, still works after all these years. Excellent. The soap for today, Midnight and Two Provence. Lavender scented soap. Um, here it's here after I've cleaned it up. Absolutely magnificent. Um, if you can try this, one of these, if you can try one of their soaps, um, get one. I think, I, I know they're, they're maybe a little bit more expensive, but uh, really worth it in my opinion. Yeah, really good. Great ingredients in it. Very, very slick. Post shave feel is fantastic. Yeah, just uh, really good. So there we go, Midnight 2 Provence, and there's the little tips on the inside of the tin. Uh, the brush for today, the Grey Dog Custom Bore Brush. Uh, this is the Keyhole Shape Coco Bolo Wood. Wonderful, wonderful brush. Big old bore knot in there. Soaked it and uh, gathered the soap, and uh, it let the soap go onto my face very easily. Excellent, excellent brush, and it was Grey Dog that asked for me to use the fat boy today. So that one was for you, Grey Dog. Thank you very much for the brush. Uh, we then had a little face wash with the remaining lather that was in the brush, rinsed off with hot and cold water. Um, post shave was Mersol plastic, which is a kind of rose scented aftershave splash, very good for the skin. And then finished it with the fantastic Midnight and Two Provence aftershave, uh, face moisturiser and aftershave balm, alcohol free. Yeah, very good. I really like that. I love these little bottles, they're so quirky. Yeah, excellent. And that whew, still feels, I can't go over how good my skin feels. That is today's shave. So uh, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I hope you've had a wonderful weekend. Whenever this video goes out, I'm not entirely 100% sure, but um, have yourselves a great time. Look after yourselves, look after your loved ones. Um, those that you love, give them a cuddle every now and then. It'll make you feel better and it'll make them feel better too. Uh, okay, I'll have to go now because I've got a very important draw to do. So, yeah, fingers crossed. That your number comes out. If you're watching, you sent me an email and you have a number, I hope that your number comes out uh, in the draw. There's three prizes, so let's go and do that now. And until the next time I see you in a shave video, take care of yourselves and see you soon. Good luck. I love you all. <laughs> see ya. Take care.